Welcome to Everyone Loves Guitar, where we get to sit down and talk with interesting professional guitar players and related music industry experts. If you love playing guitar, stick around. You're in the right place. This is Craig Garber, and welcome to Everyone Loves Guitar, podcast episode number 35. Today's topic, playing guitar is like any other business. Hey, so one thing I can tell you for sure from interviewing at this point probably dozens and dozens of artists is that playing guitar professionally is like any other business, and we've discussed this on some of our calls. The reason I say that is there's like a definite trajectory that goes something like this. First of all, like any other business, in the beginning, it's all about getting enough power behind you to generate rom- momentum. It's kind of like you're an airplane sitting there on the runway, and at this point early on, your objective is just to get enough speed and velocity going in your plane so you could at least get it off the ground. And like any other business, getting that momentum is typically a grind. It involves hustling your ass off, taking any opportunity you can get your hands on, usually working a lot more for far less money than you deserve, and basically paying a lot of tuition and hopefully getting paid for some of it. After starting a number of businesses, to me, your success or failure in this area is really going to be determined by a few specific things. And it's the same thing for playing guitar, by the way. These things are your attitude, your relentless pursuit of opportunities, not being afraid to ask for help, definitely not having an ego and being consistent with it. If you're doing all these things and that consistency is super important and you're doing them like daily, you have a very high chance of succeed. But if you're not doing all of them or you're doing some of them or you're doing all of them but not daily, it's not likely you're going to get the momentum you need. Now, once you get that momentum, then the next thing you have to deal with is almost the opposite, and that is learning when and how to say no and figuring out what your value is. Because at this point in time, you don't have much of a problem getting the work, but because typically you've been doing all this work for probably a lot less money than you deserve, you begin to realize you're underpaid. But figuring out what you should be paid and then having the courage to tell people what that number is in such a way that it won't be confrontational isn't always easy. And I've spoke to a number of musicians about this. And in many cases, it's almost a predatory game that they play because a lot of musicians, just like a lot of business people, don't have any education. And when I say education, I mean book knowledge or experience that gives them a frame of reference on how to handle this situation. And it could be very difficult and it could cost you your business or your career because if you're not making enough money to eat and to survive and thrive because you can't just get by. At a certain point, you have to have a little more. You won't survive in your business and it won't last. You won't survive as a musician it won't last. So after this phase, if you get through that, you you typically then have to decide what it is you want to do moving forward with your guitar playing or with your career. See, up until that point, you're typically like a bit of a jack of all trades. And you begin to realize that you're getting pulled in too many directions. And because you don't specialize, you can't command the big bucks that a specialist can command and can begin to settle down with for the long haul. So for instance, you need to be a studio musician or a road musician or a producer, but you can't do all three things and then build a reputation as a great player or as a great business person. You really got to focus on one or two things that you have a specialty in that you enjoy doing and that pay you amply enough to survive over the long haul. And mind you, throughout this entire time, you still always have to be generating new leads, new prospects, and new opportunity. That means keeping your head out there, still talking to as many people as you can, or generating leads, whatever way you generate leads. But by far, that's the most important thing for any business. In my day job as a marketing consultant, I've always said there are a few problems for any business that having an abundance of leads can't fix. Anyway, I was 
quite surprised to see that there are so many parallels between being a professional musician and being an entrepreneur. So my hats are really off to anybody who actually makes it in the music business or who makes it in any business for that matter. Thanks for listening. Go to everyonelovesguitar.com and sign up to get notified of future episodes along with the latest guitar-related updates. And join our community on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash everyone loves guitar. We hope you enjoyed this show. If you did, subscribe to the Everyone Loves Guitar podcast, and you can do this online at everyonelovesguitar.com or on iTunes. And if you like the show, please leave us a five-star positive review. The more five-star reviews we get, the higher our show ranks, and higher rankings mean we get to continue speaking with cool, interesting guests on our show. We'll see you on the next episode, and until then, keep playing your guitar and have fun making music. We'll be right back.